What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. So, before we get into this, I have to say, yes, this video, it's the first video I'm making on Scarlet and Violet that includes spoilers for new Pokemon. From this day on out, we will be spoiling some earlier Pokemon and then like throughout the week, I'll be revealing some more Pokemon. Uh, the one thing I'm avoiding right now is legendary Pokemon, but because I'm also doing some battles, some of those are unavoidable. So, you know, just... Just keep in mind. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're going to be ranking all the Generation 9 Pokemon based off of how competitively viable I believe they are in VGC. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a really fun video. I've been meaning to like get my thoughts on all these things to you guys, but I've only been able to talk about the officially revealed Mons, uh, just as uh, a courtesy to everyone who didn't get the game until later on in the weekend. Uh, but you know, I am a YouTuber. Time to, uh, I guess it's time to pull the trigger on this sort of thing. So yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. I feel like I said so yeah so many times, but yeah, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed at any point in time. Subscribe to the channel for more competitive Pokemon content, and let's do this thing. So, oh, before we start, I have to say, Don Dozo absolutely busted. I just won a room tour with it. That's the first spoiler. Don Dozo plus Tatsugiri, insane. We'll talk about that later on. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to share that. I like two minutes before recording this, I was playing a room tour. So first off is the uh, first. Uh, hold on, let me hold on. Let me make sure I actually have like this pulled up so we can um, so we can take a look at these Pokemon and just talk about them a little bit more in depth. But uh, we have Meowscarada. Now Meowscarada was one that I thought was actually kind of insane, uh, but it's a little bit annoying in my opinion uh, how underwhelming it is. Uh, it's mostly to do with the fact that Intimidate is super super good in VGC and Grass isn't the best offensive type unless you're like Kartana and your attack stats insane. This thing has access to a 100% crit move called Flower Trick, and it has Protean. So, like, generally speaking, you're going to be running, like, Flower Trick, U-Turn, um, let's get Knockoff, yeah, it gets Knockoff, and some other final move, uh, usually a fighting move. Low Kick's pretty fine for beating, like, T-Tar, and, like, Jolly Max Speed Choice Band, because the Choice Band allows you to basically become, like, a mini Urshifu with a Grass move. Uh, overall, though, like, I find Grass Dark, even if you, like, Protean into a different type, be a pretty lame typing uh as much as i like one of the future pokemon on this list but i would say meowscarada it's going to be one of those you can get away with it pokemon but it's not great um and i guess i should like list how i see these things d is completely unviable c is i highly recommend you stay away from it b is it's going to take some effort for you to get things done with it a is it's going to be pretty okay and like generally very good um or i guess a is like you generally very good uh, and S is going to be top tier. No doubt you'll see it on a lot of teams. So as for Mouscarada, um, it's going to be a B tier for me. I just find it very underwhelming. Uh, Skeledurge. That's going to be like, you know what? Mm, unviable. You can make it work. Okay. Very good. Amazing. That's the newer. Okay, yeah. That's a better way of doing it. Uh, Skeledurge. I think it's okay. Uh, it is... Pretty cool. It's got this new move called um, Torch Song, and it also has the ability Unaware and like some really fat bulk. I like to think of this thing as like a Fire Ghost type Hippowdon, uh, because you know 108, 118, 112, uh, 104, 100, 110, 75. Like it's it's similar bulk to Hippowdon, uh, just you have a little bit better special bulk, I guess, or maybe I don't know. It's pretty close. Uh, but Fire Ghost is pretty decent, uh, and having that move Torch Song is very nice. So this thing has a sound-based fire move that always raises its special attack by one. It could be good on Trick Room teams, but something I thought would be really funny um, is just running like a pure defensive set. Like Will-O-Wisp. It gets Slack Off, which is really big. Will-O-Wisp, Slack Off, Torch Song, Shadow Ball, and like Leftovers. Because of this thing having the ability unaware, it means that if you Torch Song into anything with a special defense boost, it acts like it doesn't have that special defense boost, making a pretty decent wall breaker if you can ramp it up over time. Uh, but also, defensively, you ignore every single attack boost. So things like uh, plus one Terra Ghost Dragapult with a Life Orb, you can tank with a bold nature. I've ran the calcs on this thing. Same with plus one Life Orb Terra Ground Garchomp. Like, you eat these hits. It's kind of absurd. Uh, generally speaking, defensive fire types tend to do quite good in competitive formats, like uh, Incineroar and Arcanine, obviously. Uh, but the only thing is this thing's going to have to compete with Arcanine for a slot on a team, because it's pretty hard to run two fire types in uh, VGC when things like rain teams are generally quite good, uh, as well as sand teams. So yeah, it's going to be a B tier for me. 
By the way, I'm not going to go super in-depth with these Pokemon. Some of them I'll just, like, really skirt over and be like, those stats are garbage. All right, um, Quaquaval. Quaquaval is actually one I, like, barely looked at, but I think it's interesting. So, this is going to be a Pokemon that I actually think will slowly, over time, become a little bit more popular. Because it has the ability Moxie. You know, self, self-plug right there. You know, that's me. Uh, but... Uh, I th it's it's got like a really middling speed stat, right? However, this is offset by its uh, new move, Aqua Step, which is 80 base power and 100% chance to raise the user's speed by one. So I actually think that this is going to be the sort of Pokemon where you don't run a Life Orb or anything. You want a clear amulet because this makes you like a huge threat to Arcanine. In VGC, if you KO an Arcanine with Aqua Step, now you're plus one attack, plus one speed with pretty okay bulk. Uh, and from that point on, stuff like your close combat your liquidation. Actually, liquidation might not even be worth it if you have Aqua Step. It's only a little bit weaker. Uh, you can run things like Brave Bird. It has a lot of tools at its disposal that I think are quite good. It also has Swords Dance. Swords Dance is kind of absurd. And Taunt and U-Turn. This is slowly... Oh, Wave Crash. Never mind. Yeah, run Wave Crash. <laughs> that's, uh, that's basically just uh, Water-type Flare Blitz. This thing has like a lot of tools at its disposal, and it's 120 base uh, attack with 85 speed. If you Aqua Step anything, you know, that plus one speed's gonna put you over the top where you're outspeeding stuff like Dragapult. Uh, and yeah, it's it's quite good. I think that this thing will eventually see a lot more usage as Arcanine slowly comes into uh, high usage because right now there are so many people experimenting and the ladder isn't even like up yet that like we're just playing in room tours like I did like a few minutes ago, right? Uh, so we're all just testing. But as Arcanine becomes more popular, as fire types become like commonplace in every single team, you're definitely going to see more Quaquaval, I think. It's, it's very nice. Uh, so I'm going to put it at uh, a B tier. Like same as this guy. I don't think it's quite A tier, because uh, A tier I think are going to be like your reliable workhorses mostly. Uh, both of these have different stats. Uh, I forget the name of it. It is uh, the LeChonk Evolution. Uh, Le What's LeChonk's Evolution? Sorry, hold on. I'm like forgetting this thing. I can go by dex number. By name? No. No, I can't go by dex number. Okay, I got to find LeChonk's Evolution. It's going to be up in OU because everything's OU right now. By the way, this is a VGC tier list. If you're like new to the channel, I play VGC. I'm not ranking OU. Um, why? I like I like never encountered this Pokemon at all, so I like almost never thought about it. So that's why I don't know its name. I can remember this. I can remember this. I am not cutting. I can remember this thing's name. I am not cutting the video. Uh, le pig hog. Uh, did I skip over it? Lechuga. It's Lechuga. No, it's not. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm googling it. Lechonk evolution. It evolves into. Uh, why? Why is this? Why? Why is it not coming up? There it is. It's called Oinkalone. <laughs> No wonder I couldn't remember that. Okay, Oink alone. Uh, there are two forms of it. And they have a really nice ability. So, uh, it has the ability Lingering Aroma. Pokemon making contact with this. Pokemon have their ability changed to Lingering Aroma. It's like, uh, it's like Mummy. It works the exact same as Mummy. So let's say that a huge power Pokemon attacks your Oink alone. Huge power is gone. It has uh, Lingering Aroma. Gluttony is also quite good. Uh, does it get Belly Drum? It does not. No, Gluttony sucks. Uh, but that allows you to eat things like the 30% berries 50% uh, earlier. So that means that you get one third of your HP back at 50, putting at 80. Um, and it also has thick fat. Uh, generally speaking, I find these things to be quite mid. I thought they were they were going to be like the Snorlax of the generation, but they're not. It has 110 HP, 100 attack, 80 special defense. Uh, 115 HP, 90 attack. This is just like the more defensive version. I, I think that for the most part, you're not going to want to use these guys. Um, I will say that Aroma Veil is a little bit better if you want to use it to protect, like, partners from Taunt. Uh, yeah, I guess you could get away with the more defensive one. If, does this thing get Taunt on its own? It doesn't get Taunt on its own. I feel like this thing's going to lack a lot of the tools it needs to be quite good. Like, Yawn is probably fine. Yawn Protect. Does it get Iron Defense Body Press? No. This thing's probably going to be D tier for me. I, I, I don't find them quite useful at all. It's going to be hard to justify that. Okay, now that it took us 15 minutes to talk about, to talk about two pigs, uh, we're going to go to the Dunsparce, the new Dunsparce evolution. Still has Serene Grace. It's basically just a Dunsparce like buff. Like it might as well just be the same Pokemon. So, oh no, here, Dunsparce, there we go. Here, 100 HP, 70 attack, 70 defense, 65 special attack, 65 special defense, 45 speed. 
125 HP, 100 attack, 80 defense, 85 special attack, 75 special defense, 55 speed. They they are very similar. Um, but I guess the main difference is that the Dunsparce gets Tailwind, which is kind of cool. I, I think that like the only way you're going to get away with the Dunsparce, it doesn't even get, oh, it does get Rock Slide. Okay, here's how you can get away with the Dunsparce. Get it to 107 speed, make it very fat or whatever, and you use Tailwind Rock Slide, Body Slam, or not Body Press, Body Slam, if you'd like, that sort of thing. It could also probably run like an Iron, Def it doesn't get Iron Defense. It could also probably run like a Coil, Body Press, um, Headbutt Set, I guess, if you really want to do that. The only thing is you're making yourself slower, so that's like exclusively limiting yourself to Trick Room teams. Uh, it also gets Glare though. It has a lot of decent tools. I think it's the sort of Pokemon you could get away with, but it's not going to be easy. Uh, but I think the main thing that this thing is kind of interesting for is Hyper Drill, which is a brand new physical move. It's only 100 base power. Honestly, if you wanted to make this thing viable, here's what you do. Here's what you do. You give it Hyper Drill, but make Hyper Drill 120 base power, and then this thing would have a niche. Choice Banded Hyper Drill would be very reliable damage, but it's not. But it's not. And that's why Dedun Sparse is going to go solidly into, uh, by the way, there are two forms of it. They're the exact same. It's going to go solidly into the C tier for me. It's not completely unviable, but it's very hard to use. Um, all right, Spide Ops is an immediate D tier. I don't even have to like think about this one. Look at Spide Ops. First of all, they ruined Tarantula. Tarantula was a friend. I don't, like it's spell, Tarantula. This guy's a friend. This guy's a menace, ew. Ew, why would they do that? Anyways, the stats suck. Uh, 35 speed for some reason, uh, and no bulk. 92 defense, 86 special defense isn't getting you very far with 60 HP. I don't know why they made this thing. It gets stakeout, which I guess is fine, but it's attack set 79. This thing's just straight up unviable. Gets first impression. Does it get sticky webs? Congratulations. The one thing it gets. That's a D tier. Sorry. For for all one Spide Ops fans, I'm sorry. Uh, low kicks. Low kicks is actually fairly interesting. Um, so it's a bug dark type with tinted lens, which means that um, effectively... The only time you're going to get a resistance versus this thing is if it's times four resisted because it doubles the power of not very effective attacks. Uh, so, you know, it's ever it hits basically everything for neutral at minimum. Uh, and yeah, 102 attack, 92 speed isn't that bad. Uh, but for the most part, low kicks is going to be what I would consider a very underwhelming Pokemon. It's very intimidate, weak. Its best set would probably be like a choice band first impression set and then it dies and then you get something else in. But yeah. Gets a lot of nice dark moves. I believe it gets Throat Chop. Uh, it gets Sucker Punch. I wish it got Knock Off. Then maybe it'd have something to do. But yeah, for the most part, I would say this thing, you'll get away with it. It's not completely unviable. I just don't think it's good. Um, Rabscara. I believe that's how you pronounce that one. Rab Rabska? Yeah, Rabska. So this is a bug and psychic type, and it has an insane move. It's called Revival Blessing. So it has one PP. You get to do this once per game. But it's basically like using a revive on your Pokemon. Like the item revive, it gives them 50% health back. Um, and it brings them back to life, which is very cool. So let's say that I could see this thing finding a place on teams if it didn't have like a, if there wasn't a better revival blessing Pokemon, which there is, spoilers. Um, but it is fairly bulky. I mean, like while Bug Psychic isn't a good defensive typing for the most part, you could totally use this thing as like a nice wall. Like uh, let's go with like relaxed. Like, you could do something like Revival Blessing. Does it get Toxic? No. Bug Psychic. Uh, Struggle Bug? Yes. Okay, that's kind of huge. So, Struggle Bug, Revival Blessing, Protect. And I guess if it got Expanding Force, that'd be decent. It does get Recover, so it's fairly bulky. Honestly, if it had, like, Toxic, it could probably do something. Uh, mostly, this is going to be, like, a... It's going to be a gimmicky Pokemon. It's going to be very gimmicky for the most part. And its exclusive role is going to be sort of as a Cleric to get your Pokemon back in the field. Uh, but yeah, I, I think it's going to be okay. Like, you, it has a very powerful tool, this Disposal, but it's basically like you're giving up a Pokemon to revive another Pokemon, which is risky at best. So it's going to be another C tier for me. But very cool tool. Um, Houndstone is pretty cool. Houndstone is our only new Sandrush Pokemon beyond... Uh, the, the other Sandrush Pokemon that's legal right now is going to be uh, Lycanroc Day? Midday, yeah. Uh, but this thing's really bulky. 72 HP, 100 defense, 97 special defense, 101 attack. Uh, yeah, and it also gets fluffy. So it's like, you could use this thing as like a bootleg Dusclops, I guess. Um, so you would run like Will-O-Wisp. You'd probably run like Snarl. 
protect, and you need like a ghost move. And this thing does get a very cool ghost move, but I don't find it to be all that strong. You may you might want to run Shadow Sneak just as like a you know a stand in. Even Nightshade is probably okay. Uh, but Phantom Force is like unreliable. It's best move though in singles. I'm gonna just talk about singles very quickly. Uh, it doubles, it doesn't have like a great ghost move. Uh, it's gonna be last respects. So basically, it's 50 base power, but if, let's say this is your team of six right here. You, you're new to VGC and you built this god awful team. Tarantula goes down. Well, guess what? Now this is 100 base power. Spide Ops goes down. Good. Now it's 150 base power. The Dunsparce goes down. Oh no. Now it's 200 base power. It gets stronger and stronger. Uh, but in VGC, you have four Pokemon, so this maxes out at 200 base power. So while that is quite strong, I don't know how good this guy's going to be in an Intimidate metagame. It does get Sand Rush, so you can run this thing next to um, you can run this thing next to Tyranitar. And let me actually scroll down. This is a team I was thinking about making before I found out it was bad. Uh, but this combo could be interesting. Just these two. You get to reuse like a, a Dragon Dance uh, Tyranitar, and since Tyranitar doesn't like dealing with um, fighting types, you could tear it into a Dark type to get rid of the times four and just make it times two, and then you use Houndstone as sort of a, a support Sandrush Pokemon. You're outspeeding your Tyranitar every time, so you actually get to Howl to boost its attack as well as yours, and you get to Will-O-Wisp fighting types. Snarl, Last Respects, it's very cool. I think this is going to be solidly in the C tier. Very, very solid C tier. Um... Es uh, Espartha? I think that's how you pronounce it. Espartha? Espathra, yeah. Has some uh, pretty cool tools. Opportunist, uh, when the opposing Pokemon receives stat boost, this Pokemon gets the same boost. So you just copy every time something gets a stat boost. Uh, it's not on Switch, and I believe it's just like if the Azumarill belly drums, then you will also get that boost, but not if it like, you know, not if it like belly drums and then you switch it in afterwards. Brisk is a very good ability for VGC, obviously that's information, and Speed Boost is quite good. I think Speed Boost is actually probably the best ability, uh, but it also has really, really nice stats. 95 HP sort of makes up for the 60 in the both defenses, um, but the main thing that you're going to be using this for is probably going to be like this. You'll still run like a Sash, to be honest, but it has this new move called um, Lumina Crash, which is a special move, uh, and it always always lowers the target special defense by two so this is actually really cool you could like combo this with any special attacker like specs flutter main like you you go for like dazzling gleam and then lumina crash and then the next turn your espathra is going to outspeed flutter main and then you lumina crash and then a uh, dazzling gleam i actually faced neil vgc with that in the latter tour and that almost directed me but i managed to come out on top but yeah no this thing is actually really cool i think this is going to be a solid um b tier for me it's a solid b tier could it could find a niche on like a specific a specific archetype down the road Farigaraf. Um, rest in peace, Farigaraf. Made me very sad. Farigaraf. Uh, yeah, it's got nice bulk. 120 HP, 70 defense, 70 special defense, 110 special attack. It's fine, right? But the thing is, I think the only thing it's going to do is run Armor Tail and, like, Trick Room. Oh, sorry, that's Trick. This is, like, its only purpose, if we're being real. Um, beyond that, it's very, very mid. So you prevent Fake Out... Um, and if you run a mental herb, that's basically guaranteed trick room. That's basically guaranteed turn one trick room. Uh, beyond them, just straight up knocking you off. But you do have a lot of bulk. Like, you can run, like, a very bulky set. Uh, as for the moves it gets, decent moves, you know. Still gets hyper voice. But it also has a new move called twin beam, which is, uh, basically... How do I say it? It's, it's like psychic, but a little bit weaker, and it hits twice. So it's 80 base power, psychic hits twice. 40, but you know what I mean. It's 80 in general. Uh, so that's nice for bypassing focus sashes, but uh, I'll be honest, this thing doesn't have the offenses to KO, like even focus sash Pokemon in one hit for the most part, unless they're like, unless they're like super weak to it. But for the most part, Urigaref's coverage isn't like that good. Um, you could run dual screens, I guess, if you really wanted. Thunder Wave is probably good on this guy. I don't know. It's just, it's very mid. It's going to be a D tier. It's going to be a D tier. Uh, Wug Trio. This one made me sad. Hold on. Wug Trio. It didn't get Arena Trap. Why didn't they give it Arena Trap? All right, here's how you run Wug Trio. You ready? You run Jolly, Max Attack, Max Speed. You run Liquid. Oh, wait. It actually gets Triple Dive. I forgot. Triple Dive. It's um, it's it's worse Triple Axel, but Water type. Could do that to bypass Sashes, but uh, Liquidation or Waterfall is always going to be better because... Um, oh, it doesn't get Waterfall. So Liquidation is just going to be better does get some nice tools. Memento is kind of cool. Sucker Punch, Throat Chop. It's, 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 it's pretty bad. It's, it's, <laughs> it's pretty bad. No, don't, don't use this one. Uh, that's gonna be like an F tier for me. 
or D tier, whatever. Okay, it's time. I've been waiting to talk about this dude all week. Oh my god, I can't wait to get him, uh, to get a move set guide out about this guy. Don Dozo, Rip Dozo. This is the dude who made me win that tour. Uh, Don Dozo is absurd. That is a real uh, person walking on the street when interviewed about Don Dozo's efficacy. Let me explain just how absurd this Pokemon is, but I have to rank it next to its best buddy, Tatsugiri, and his best buddy, Tatsugiri, uh, but it's a different form if they don't have, do they have the, yeah, and his best buddy, um, Tatsugiri. There we go. Here are the three Tatsugiris. Let me move this guy over. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Uh, move here. There we go. Okay. So Don Dozo, we're talking about both these Pokemon at once. Don Dozo is 150 HP, 100 attack, 115 defense, 65 special attack, 65 special defense, 35 speed. Bad stats, right? Super bad stat. No, I'm kidding. Those are like really good stats. Like even if you just put an AV on this Pokemon with the ability Oblivious, that is in uh, that is a massive tank. You, you like you're not KOing it on the physical side. The special defense side is just as good with the AV. Uh, well, maybe just a little bit worse. Uh, and it can't be intimidated. So like this thing's um, this thing's like liquidations and wave crashes hit like a truck, just because it's like they're just really good moves. Coming off 100, it's not that bad. But where this thing's insane gimmick comes from it's a gimmick but it's like a good gimmick is that Hatsugiri has an ability called commander that is basically like this thing basically has two abilities because Tatsugiri like has this guy's ability if that makes sense um it has the ability commander if ally donzo if ally is dondozo this pokemon cannot be uh this pokemon cannot act or be hit so it, it becomes a 1v2 situation the Tatsugiri enters dondozo's mouth there's a really cute animation for it in game so it goes into dondozo's mouth and pilots that guy like a like a like a tank uh and it gets plus two to every one of its stats so guess what that 35 speed max it out 95 times two you're out speeding base 121 pokemon that's like the number so you're as fast as like cyclozar uh that defense unbreakable that special defense really good now uh yeah and it's unintimidatable i have to i can't i can't stress that enough you can't intimidate or if you want you can run Clear amulet, and instead of a, and that makes you unintimidatable, and then one water veil, so you can't be burned. That's it's 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 crazy, like how customizable this guy goes. But also, it has a move called Order Up. Now, Order Up is plus one uh, to Don Dozo's uh, whatever Don Dozo's stat that it decides it is. I don't know. So depending on the Tatsugiri form, you get a different stat boost every time you use Order Up, which is a dragon move, which is not stab, uh, but basically. Orange Dondos or Orange Tatsugiri, you get plus one attack. Uh, I believe this one is plus one defense and this one's plus one speed. I think that's how it is. But yeah, no, like it, it's it's insane. You could even run like a defensive body press set. Let me just show you the replay of this match that I had. Let's just let's just watch the. Oh, I can't show you the replay because I accidentally just closed it when I when I when I clicked rematch. Okay, point is Dondozo absurd. I wanted to show you the replay. I'm sorry, I messed up. <laughs> Dondozo absurd. Um, it can. So what I what you can do is like the set that I've been running. Let me show you the team. Sorry, like this is entirely just a Don Dozo ad at this point. I'm running Figgy Berry Oblivious with four HP, two twenty attack, four defense, twenty eight uh, special defense, two fifty two speed with a Jolly Nature. Uh, I outspeed like everything that isn't named Flutterman. Uh, and then with the Tatsugiri in my mouth, I just go for order up and I get an attack boost. Now I'm at plus three attack, plus four, and you can even and I tear it into Dragon, so I get stab on that. It's really good. It's a it's such a good Pokemon. Tatsugiri isn't as good. But the thing is, when Don Dozo goes down, Tatsugiri pops out, and now you get the Tatsugiri back. And it has good stats too. It's got 82 speed, 95 special defense, and 120 special attack. You can slap a Specs or a Scarf on that guy, and it's insane. Also, this should definitely be Dragon Pulse. I didn't mean to fix that. It's stronger than Terrain Pulse. I'm stupid. But yeah. Uh, no, this guy, that's an A tier for me. That's an A tier. I think it's insane. I think it's got like crazy potential and that people are like just writing it off as a gimmick, but we're having major colossal syndrome right now where everyone thinks it's a gimmick and then it wins tours. That's what I think it's going to be. All right. Enough of that. Where's Tatsugiri? You're like a, you're like a, you're together. Okay. Ah, you know what? I'm, I don't want to get bullied on Twitter. Let's do that. <laughs> let's do, let's do top of B tier. You know, you and I, you and I know it's top of B tier, but, but people on Twitter, people on Twitter, you know, they'll, they'll just be like, oh, B tier. I guess that's reasonable. All right. Um, Next up, uh, we have this guy. All right, this guy's garbage. Uh, Veluza. I can't, I'm, I don't want to overwrite this team. I have to make sure I don't overwrite that team. All right, that's an OU team. Let me just make a new one. Okay. Oh, wait, this is it. Okay. Veluza. 
Very interesting. It has Mold Breaker and Sharpness. Sharpness is a new ability that makes the slicing moves 1.5 times power. Uh, and this thing gets access to uh, Psycho Cut. It gets access to a new move called Aqua Cutter, which is just a water type slash move. It gets access to Night Slash. It, and it gets a new move called Filet Away. But the issue is you can't effectively use Filet Away with your new ability. So Filet Away, uh, it's like a, it's, it's like a, a, it's a shell smash with no defensive drops, but instead you lose the HP. So you could do like Citrus Berry Filet Away and you'd be at 75 HP or 75% HP and then you're at plus two plus two and then you can like sweep things. But the stats are pretty mid beyond that. Like it's, it's only okay. Uh, here's the issue. Sharpness would make that such a good ability. Uh, sharpness would make that like such a good set. But Filet Away, because it's also a cutting move, you take 75% uh, percent of your health to use it. So it's just useless. You have to run Mold Breaker. This thing's so underwhelming. I think you can use it. It's, it's going to be like a C tier for me, but I think it's just kind of bad. Um, Palafin. Okay, Palafin's kind of crazy. Now, Palafin has two forms, but they're the same Pokemon. It has this ability called Zero to Hero. So you lead off with this Palafin. It's got pretty, eh, pretty bad stats. Nice, nice bulk though, you know. 72, 62, 100 is not that bad. And 100 speed is pretty good. So you run like Jolly Palafin. And you run Flip Turn. You run Flip Turn, right? And like Clark Kent taking off his glasses, no one will recognize you anymore. Because when you come back in for the rest of the game, you're a Palafin. You're, you're the hero Palafin with absurd stats. 100 HP, 160 attack, 106 special attack. The defenses are like heat, 100 speed still. And guess what? Guess what? It, it's got a new move. Jet Punch. It's just a powered up, um, it's just a powered up, uh, Aqua, Aqua Jet. I think it's, it's the same power as, like, Scizor's, uh, Bullet Punch. That's the best way to think about it. It's the same base power. Uh, and with 160, you're hitting a lot harder. Obviously, this thing's, like, Intimidate food, but our best Intimidators are Fire-type, so that's not great. You have to have, like, a, a Gyarados to beat this guy. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's just super good. Also, you could literally just run the, um, what's it called? You could literally just run the Clear Amulet. And now he's absurd. You can even get bulk up. Like bulk up jet punch is, is crazy. Obviously you lose to Amoongus. It's got like no tools for Amoongus, but it does get ice punch. So that's crazy. It, you could you could beat Amoongus if you set up enough. Uh, I think the best way to do with this is probably gonna be Amoongus. <laughs> it does get close combat too. So if you have like a Ferrothorn, you know, you're not doing anything there. Actually, I don't even know if Ferrothorn's in the deck. So I keep forgetting. It's not, no. This thing's gonna be crazy. I think we'll eventually find out it's good, but for now it's gonna be, eh. Also Amoongus is a good partner for it. You know, you can, um. You can like use flip turn here. Like instead of ice punch, you have like flip turn. You can use flip turn if your Amoongus is weak and just like get it in, get it out. And then it's like, it gets regenerator. Uh, and then from then on, you can like rage powder bulk up and like just sweep things with jet punch. But yeah, very, uh, very crazy Pokemon. I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, I think that's going to be, um, that's going to be an A tier for me. I think it's like, no one's really playing with it. No one's really playing with it because they, they don't know how they feel about it yet. They probably don't like the design. He's a little goofy looking. I think that's, right now it's an A tier, but I think people don't want to admit it yet. Granted, it does require a turn of setup, but you could just hard switch out. Like, you could lead off with Amoongus and this guy, and then you switch in Arcanine, and guess what? You just intimidated something, both your Pokemon are still alive, and now you have this thing in the back. It's going to be, it's going to be a late, uh, late metagame, like, threat, I think. Okay, um, Arboliva. Welcome. Uh, our new Grassy Terrain Pokemon. Kind of lame, though. Uh, it only gets Grassy Terrain up when it gets hit by an attack. You could manually you could manually set it up too. It's other abilities harvest. I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, decently defensive. You can max out the HP on this guy, and it's like super slow. So like it's a decent under trick room. Does it get sleep powder? Does not get sleep powder. Um, I think this guy's just gonna be like a Giga Drain monster. It is normal type to get hyper voice. Yeah, I mean like if you want to run it like this, you can run like hyper voice, Giga Drain, protect. Um, I don't know. Strength sap's actually really good leftovers that's probably gonna be like the set like it, you could even run it like specs if you wanted to but i think for the most part you're gonna want to run like a bulky attacker yeah uh i don't i don't know this thing's probably gonna be just okay i'm gonna put it at c tier there's gonna be a lot of c tiers uh no s tiers yet though admittedly uh sco villain this guy's interesting so it gives um it gives lilligant a rung for its money sco villain Fire and Grass type. So you have a Fire type that's immune to uh, Sleep Powder, which is very good. And it gets Chlorophyll, which is very nice. The other abilities are whatever. You know, Moody could be a little bit lame, but I think Chlorophyll is going to be the best one because it's a Chlorophyll Sweeper. 
where you can run a fire move, which is unheard of. Uh, oh, does it not get heat wave? That's kind of lame. It does get flamethrower though. You can run like flamethrower, uh, probably not giga drain, like energy ball. Um, what else does it get? It gets rage powder, which is kind of cool. Spicy extract target plus two attack minus two defense. That's going to be an interesting move. I don't know how good it's going to be really. Uh, yeah, I think it's, I, this is going to be like an okay Pokemon. I don't know. I slap like a life orb on it. I wish you got heat wave. That's all it really needed. That's all it really needed to get things done. No sleep powder. No, no sleep powder. Like nothing gets sleep powder this gem, which I'm actually kind of okay with. That's gonna be a seat here. Uh, da, 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 da. Belly bolt. That's I'm gonna tell you right now. That's a seat here, but it's very interesting. I made a guide on it yesterday. Belly bolt is able to run like a bulldoze weakness policy, tear it into electric type, and then hit everything in the field with discharge set. Uh, because its ability Electromorphosis gives it double base power on electric moves if it takes direct damage before it attacks. So, yeah. No, literally, you just do, like, bul Bulldoze Weakness Policy Discharge and, like, annihilate everything on the field, including your partner if it isn't a ground type or has uh, telepathy. Uh, it, it's it, But it's it, it lacks consistency, I would say, so it's just going to be a C tier. Don't need to go into that too much. If you want to learn more, get into the... Uh, uh, go into my channel and check out the video. Uh, Reverum. This, this video's taking a minute. We're like a half hour in, aren't we? Yeah, we're a half hour in. Okay. Reverum, I think has some potential, but you have to tear it into steel. You don't want to keep that, uh, steel poison typing. Has overcoat, which allows it to be, uh, immune to spore, rage powder, any powder moves. Um, and it has decent speed. Pretty okay attack, actually. That's, like, really good. 119 looks like a low number. <laughs> But then you realize it's one away from 120, which is like a respectable number. So yeah, physical bulk's pretty good. Special defense is pretty bad. Uh, it does get filter though. So if you wanted to run like, I don't know, uh, shift gear, uh, iron head, get rock slide. Doesn't get rock slide. Iron head, poison jab, haunt maybe, protect. It's about as good as you can get. I don't think it's that good. It's just okay. Uh, poison steel is kind of a nice typing though. I would say, mm, like top of D, low C. Eh, I kind of feel like it's D, just Earthquake exists. It feels like a D. All right. Um, what are we at? Orthworm, this one's kind of interesting. So Orthworm is a pure steel type. Don't think it's a ground type because it's a worm, uh, but it's, it's a lot like Steelix. It's mainly just gonna be Actually, let's look at it compared to Steelix. I'm curious. All right, 75, 200, 75, 145, or 70, 145. 85 attack, 85 attack. Um, Steelix is like just explicitly better. <laughs> it's just explicitly better. This thing lacks a water weakness though. Um, but it does have this cool ability called Earth Eater, making it immune to ground moves, which is kind of cool. And it is the other Pokemon that gets access to Shed Tail, which is going to, uh, it's gonna sacrifice half of Orthworm's HP and give a substitute to something else in the in the party. So you can switch it in for free and it gets a substitute. So probably like a citrus berry set in that case, maybe even like leftovers. Uh, but this guy's probably just gonna be another like iron defense body press uh, Pokemon. Beyond that, prayer protect, yeah. Uh, it, it's okay, I, it's, it's mm, I'm thinking it's gonna be like, it has enough tools where you can get away with it. I'm gonna say like, it'll, it'll catch someone off guard. That's gonna be a C tier for me. There's a lot of C tier mons, but that isn't bad. You, we want more C tiers than D tiers. Mousehold, these are the same Pokemon, even if it's like, even if it's three or four, it's the same Pokemon. It's just a, a different aesthetic form. Uh, but Mousehold, pretty interesting. As friend guard, very nice tool. It also has fake out, I believe. No, it doesn't. It has uh, follow me. It's a new follow me Pokemon, but it's not bulky at all. 74 HP, 70 defense, 75 special defense. Uh, pretty weak attack. That's really bad. That being said, this thing has one of the in most insane wall breaking moves in the game with 75 attack. Just keep that in mind. Uh, so it's 111 speed, so you're out speeding, um, Raichu is like the number. So you run this, right? You run this. I don't know why it keeps going down to zero attack. Here we go. Uh, and you run a wide lens. It has this new move called Population Bomb. Insane, insane name. But it's 90 accuracy. And the way it determines if it hits is it just does an accuracy check each time. So this is 20 base power, 90 accuracy. Technician boosted. It's now 30 base power. Hits maximum of 10 times. You have a very high chance to hit 10 times in a row with the wide lens, because now it's 99% accurate. So what is that? That's 99 to the third. So 99, 
uh to the where is it 99 to the to the 10th my bad 0.99 to the 10th sorry here's a math lesson for you guys 0.99 to the 10th chance of getting every single one that is a 90 percent chance to have a 300 base power move that's crazy right and it's a normal move and you're very fast so what you could do is you could like terra normal this thing and just start one shotting pokemon if you're not intimidated very crazy that being said that being said still c tier still c tier you know <laughs> i don't think it's that good it's just it's a fun meme uh so titan is also gonna be c tier i'm sorry there are so many c tiers like they're just average um so titan's fun though so titan has a couple of sets it can run but it's usually just gonna be slush rush with like i think clear amulet's gonna be like the best item for it to be honest um and ice spinner doesn't get rock slide i forgot what the move set i gave it was i think i gave it like earthquake and heavy slam something like that it's it's got nice moves liquidation that's what it was i put liquidation over heavy slam uh you could even run a life orb on it with like protect but basically uh you're stuck running either slow king as a chili reception pokemon which sets a pale and then automatically switches it out um or or you can run a bomb of snow for the instant uh for the instant snow uh, I, I said hail my bad i'm gonna have to get used to saying snow but snow is a new weather that gives um ice types a 50 percent boost in their defenses and you know it activates all like the the slush rush abilities all the ice body abilities so it's just a it's just an outright buff to uh ice types and it makes it so even though it doesn't like deal damage over a time it's actually kind of better in that way because you no longer have to commit to running a ton of ice types or like safety goggles or overcoat pokemon uh so that's kind of cool uh, ice is less of a commitment now or hail's a bit of sorry hail ice offense slush rush teams are a bit less of a commitment now um and that's why i think the titan isn't that bad it also has really great stats and it's uh, able to outspeed dragapult with just like this much investment which allows you to run an adamant nature instead of um a jolly nature so you can actually invest a little bit more into bulk to allow you to live like some pretty crazy hits you know so i think the titan low b i it's it's still an ice type so i, I feel bad it's it's still a c tier yeah uh Bax caliber oh my god no don't make me put another c tier okay Bax caliber could be good has some really nice stats but it's an ice dragon so it's got like curum typing uh 115 hp is really nice 145 attacks insane 92 defense physically this thing's gonna eat like bullet punches and stuff um 86 special defense you know that's pretty good i think the way you run this guy is clear amulet thermal exchange because you can you're burn immune with thermal exchange by the way um so Will-O-Wisp isn't a thing. So you run Clear Amulet. You run Dragon Dance. Uh, you run Glaive Rush, which is... Uh, maybe don't. Maybe run Dragon Claw. I don't know. It's your choice. Glaive Rush is, is like a risky move. Uh, because what it does is it's 120 base power. It's an excellent wall breaking tool. But the next turn, attacks can't miss you. And they deal two times damage to you. So you could do like Redirection plus Backscalibur. Like Amoongus Backscalibur. And that prevents this from being an issue. Uh, but yeah, you could do like Glaive Rush, just get Rock Slide, doesn't get Rock Slide. Um, as for your Ice move, probably just going to run Ice Shard's probably fine, but you're probably going to run, um, does it get Ice Spinner? No, it doesn't get Ice Spinner. Do you have to run Ice Go Crash on this guy? Do you actually have to run Ice Go Crash? Yeah, you have to run Ice Go Crash. Okay. Well, that sucks. Yeah, I guess run Ice Go Crash. It's a little bit inaccurate, but whatever. Um, and like Protect if you want. And that's like not a bad set. You can outspeed like anything with the speed. 139 times 1.5, that's enough for a Dragapult, I believe. Um, I think. Yeah. Oh no, you're just you're just barely shy of Dragapult. So you're not outspeeding that. So you have to run Jolly. You have to run Jolly. It's 149 if I remember. Something like that. Uh but yeah, uh, I think you can get away with it. I would say this is probably an A tier for me. You have to you definitely have to tear it into like dragon instead of uh mm, no sorry b tier you have to tear it into dragon instead of ice is the only issue all right pawmot this guy's insane this is the other thing with revival blessing and it also gets iron fist so it has a 20 percent boost on its punching moves um it gets access to fake out revival blessing um what was that one new move it got electric uh i think it's dual shock double shock so 120 base power 
the user becomes typeless, must be electric. So this is just like a one time you're going to break something. It's like burn up uh, and you still keep your fighting typing. So you can run like close combat. So I think you would run like this set because it, it doesn't sacrifice a Pokemon. A lot of people thought before this game came out that running uh, Pomot for the revival move would just be wasting a slot. But honestly, this thing's fine. Like this thing would be good on like Groudon teams because basically you're able to for like, you know, GS Cup. So when we allow legendaries back in, but um, you're able to like one shot Kyogre, I would imagine with a 120 base power electric move if you have like an, uh, a life orb or whatever. Uh, and if your Groudon goes down, you can go into Pomot forcing the Kyogre to want to like protect and then you uh, and then you revive a blessing or Groudon and get that back. So that's cool. But as for like current format, it's still just like a super reliable Pokemon. I think that we're going to find out it's okay. Um, I think it's going to be a B tier for me. I think it's just, it has every tool it needs to succeed. That's it. Every tool it needs. This is basically what it is. It's like, you know, B tier is like Pokemon with the tools they need to succeed where it's not hard to make it work. Um, but they're not outright great. Oh, this guy's terrifying. Kill a Watchroll. I have almost lost it. I haven't lost it yet, I think, but I've almost lost to it a lot. It is the Zapdos at home. It is the Zapdos at home. So, um, it has access to this new ability called Wind Power, where if it gets hit by a wind move or Tailwind begins, it becomes charged. So, when Tailwind's active, this guy has, like, double base power on his, um, on his electric moves for the first turn. Which is really cool, because it's like a good Tailwind Pokemon. It's very fast at 125 base speed. You're outspeeding Talonflame, I believe? What is Talonflame? No, it's Talonflame's still faster. Okay. Whoops. A little watch one. Uh, but I think competitive, for the most part, is going to be better. What you can do is run, like, Tailwind, um, Thunderbolt. Does it get Electroweb? It doesn't get Electroweb, I believe. No, it doesn't get Electroweb. Tailwind, Thunderbolt, um, Hurricane's probably fine on, like, on like uh, rain teams, but the only issue is you're doubling down on flying types because Pelipper is the only uh, drizzle user in the format. Sash is probably okay, and honestly, just being able to like, you can Terra Electric, right? And that's like really good. If they lead off with an Arcanine and you get plus two special attack, just Terra Electric and annihilate something. That's that's gonna be really scary. Obviously, it gets access to like U-turn. It's really fast, so I'd imagine it gets access to. It's the sort of Pokemon they'd give Taunt to. No, they didn't. Okay, that's kind of bad. I guess if it got Taunt, it'd be a little bit broken. Uh, gets Weather Ball, so you could use like a Water Move on it if you really wanted to. Uh, and it does have Scary Face, which could be interesting tech. But honestly, it's probably just going to be like Tailwind, Thunderbolt, um, Hurricane Protect for the most part. Or whatever like Flying Move it gets. Air Slash probably is like just fine if you want to not run it on Rain Teams. Uh, this guy's going to be a solid B tier for me. Uh, nice Electric types this gen. Okay, Bombardier. That's a... <sighs> Let me think. All right, this is, this is kind of a weird one. It's a, it's a dark and flying type with an ability that gives it, the only good ability it gets really, uh, that gives it stab on rock moves effectively. And it does get a lot of rock moves, like rock slide. So I guess the way that you would run this guy is like as a sash Pokemon, and you would just run like Jolly, max speed, max attack, rock slide, tailwind, brave bird, maybe not even brave bird, you know, or maybe not sash in that case. I don't know. It doesn't have great bulk. It's like only okay bulk. Yeah, it, it's kind of a messed, a messed up Pokemon. It does get knockoff though. Um, I don't know. I feel like you're better off running like any other Tailwind user. But if you want one with stab rock moves, I guess uh, that's gonna be like a. Uh, I think I'm gonna put a D tier. It feels very. Eh. It's if it had a higher attack stat, sure. But like 103 is not cutting it. Not with Intimidate around. Speaking of Intimidate. This guy has it. Uh, I believe his name is Rock. What's his name? Squawkabilly. His name's Squawkabilly, which is kind of fun. Um, and two forms have sheer force. Two forms have guts. I think either way, you're just gonna run intimidate for the most part for VGC. Not great. It's it's like a Chadot. It, it's just like it's it's intimidate Chadot. It's gonna be a D tier. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't need to go too far into it. It's it's intimidate Chadot. Um. This guy's pretty okay. I think he's gonna be like a C tier for me. Flamigo has a lot of strats to it that are interesting, and it has a lot of. In fact, the the video you're gonna, you're gonna see later today is gonna be me doing a moveset guide on Flamigo. But um, I think Flamigo's very okay. It has Scrappy, so it's Intimidate immune, and it can hit Ghost types with close combat. Gets Brave Bird. That's very cool. Has Taunt, I believe. Yeah. Um, it, it's a very nice Pokemon. It's it's very reliable as like a Sash user. 
uh, and your fighting type. But I think there are better options for fighting types. You know, Hariyama, Iron Hands, either one really. Uh, Flamigo is just okay. Uh, it also has this new ability called Co-Star that copies your ally stat changes. And that's where a lot of like the memes are coming from right now. People will like use like Colossal plus Flamigo. You activate the Colossal Steam, uh, Steam Engine with like Flip Turn, get in Flamigo, and now you have two plus two plus two Pokemon. Um, and Flamigo also has like a speed boost. But it's, it's just very average, I don't know. There's also a weird um, Dodonzo strat, where because Dodonzo is in a 1v2 as long as Tatsugiri is in the field, you use Perish Song to kill the Tatsugiri in Dodonzo's mouth and get Flamigo in to get like the, all the stat boosts, but it's still just a gimmick that loses to like Haze and like Intimidate and stuff, so. Um, or not Intimidate, because you know, Scrappy, but like it's it, it's it's just very unreliable and easy to shut down. So I think that's gonna see, it's gonna stay solidly in C tier. Cloth is probably a C tier, maybe a D tier. If it got Shell Smash, it'd be better. Cloth starts with a K. There we go. Uh, it also gets Regenerator, which is kind of cool. But for the most part, I think Anger Shell is the best one. You would run like a Jolly... I don't know, like Jolly Sash? Probably like Jolly Sash. And the reason you would do that is because it makes it so you don't like get KO'd by Rain Pokemon. And there aren't too many fast rain Pokemon beyond like Barrascuta this gen. So like, I guess if you get the Anger Shell, you might outspeed a couple of them. No, it's only plus one speed. Never mind. It's it's just like a, it's average, you know, you can get away with it. If you want to run like weakness policy, Anger Shell, you can do that. It doesn't get Shell Smash, which is what really let it down. Um, it gets high horsepower. It gets knockoff. A lot of things got knockoff this gen. Uh, I suppose if you wanted to run like an Assault Vest set with like Regenerator, you could do something like this. Um... I don't know. Whatever. It's 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 interesting. That's all I can say about it. It's an interesting Pokemon. I think it's just going to say stay D tier or like low C tier for me. Probably D tier. It's just it's not going to be able to cut it. Uh Oh, Garganical's a menace. I almost lost to this in tournament. I got lucky because I crit it. Okay. Garganical is the ultimate body press Pokemon. Uh, here's what you do. It's got 100 in attack and defense or in uh, HP and attack. It's got 130 defense, 90 special defense, and it's super slow. This thing's fat. It is fat. You do this. You do this with it. Ready? Uh, salt. Oh yeah, salt cure is a new rock move. It deals uh, a ton of damage to water types or steel types at the end of each turn. So if they stay on the field for four turns, they die. That's a thing. Uh, and probably like protect, and you run like leftovers. And purifying salt makes it immune to all status, and you take half damage from ghost moves. So yeah. That's, that's insane. You can't burn it. It's, it takes, it like fixes, and if you, the person I was playing, uh, tarot into grass type, so it couldn't be spored either, or not spore, so it couldn't be like a rage powdered. So it, it has a lot of things going for it. I don't know. It's, it's kind of crazy. I think it's going to be a, a B tier for me. All right. Um, Glamora, I think is going to be a C tier. It's interesting, right? Uh, Glamora has like really nice stats, but it's basically just Nihiligo at home does have this new ability. It has Corrosion, by the way. It does have this new ability that uh, lays Toxic Spikes every time it's hit. But I think the way you would use, like, Glamora would probably be, like, Choice Scarf with, like, Sludge Bomb, Power Gem, and, like, just, like, a generally offensive set, like Earth Power. Because uh, it's able to catch a lot. 130 is not anything to, like, you know, scoff at. I don't know. It, it feels very mid, though. Uh, you definitely don't want to get Bullet Punched. Um, you don't want to get Earth Powered. Earthquake's super common. You know, your only way of beating Garchomp is like critting a Dazzling Gleam. You could tear into different types though, and I suppose that could make it somewhat useful. But I do think it's like a C tier, maybe a B tier. I don't know. It depends how good grass types become. Let me think, what grass types are in the meta? It's like a Moongus, which is already okay. Yeah, it's gonna be C. Um do, 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 Fight, that's that's a C. It's just like a crappy support Pokemon. Uh it gets access to Scary Face and Taunt and Knockoff. It has a lot of nice tools, but Grimstar will just out outclasses it in every way. Uh, Dashbone, however you pronounce it. Dash, Dashbone. Oop, not Dauntless Shield. I could spell it right. Here we go. Well-baked body, you're immune to fire moves. This thing's its only ability, but it does get um, plus two defense if you do that. Uh, not terrible stats. It's definitely going to be like a defensive menace, and it's decently fast. Does it get Snarl? It does get Snarl. Does it get Body Press? It does get Body Press. Does it get Iron Defense? It doesn't get, it doesn't get Iron Defense. It can't really set up then, can it? Um, just get yawn. I could see this thing maybe being useful, but honestly, it's 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 probably gonna be that's probably gonna be deed here. It it doesn't have too much potential. 
as like a fairy type body presser, honestly. Uh, this guy's actually probably decent. Uh, this is Mabostiff. Mabostiff. Uh, and it has two very good abilities, well, three very good abilities, actually. Stakeout's not bad, but for singles, it's better. Intimidate, it's an Intimidate Pokemon. Guard Dog, if it's Intimidate, it gets plus one. Basically Defiant, but only for Intimidate. But now you can't switch out, which is kind of crappy, so I think Intimidate's better. Uh, yeah, it's good because it gets Crunch, Snarl, uh, Helping Hand. It's basically just going to be like another Arcanine, if that's, that's the best way to think about it. It also gets Taunt, too. You can run like Assault Vest. It's decently bulky and has like enough speed to do the 107. Um, the 107 speed tier pretty easily. You could run just like a, a fat Mabostiff, you know, or something like that. Yeah, just just a bulky boy, just a bulky boy. Um, probably not adamant in that case, probably like bold. But yeah, uh, not bold, relaxed, whatever the defense nature is. It's It's got good tools at disposal. I think people will use it eventually, maybe even just like an Assault Vest set, to be honest. Uh, but even as like an offensive Pokemon, if you do want to run the offensive set, Guard Dog isn't that bad, especially with like a choice band. You're immune to like Prankster Will O Wisp, which is kind of cool. So you'd run like a max attack set in that case. Like max speed, max attack. You could probably get some pretty free KOs of that. But yeah, generally an okay Pokemon. I think that's going to be B tier. Um, Where are we? Is it? Oh, Bramble, Bramble Gast. That's, that's a C tier. Uh, it has a cool ability. Very cool ability, actually. I really liked it. Bramble Gast is a ghost grass type. Fake out immune. Uh, 115 attack, 90 speed, but its uh, niche is the fact that it has this ability called Wind Rider. If it gets hit by a wind move, this includes Icy Wind, uh, Hurricane, Heat Wave, anything. Uh, if it gets hit by that or Tailwind begins, it gets plus one attack. Uh, and that's like permanent. It just gets plus one attack each time that happens. Uh, and it's immune to all damage from that. So think about how many like Pokemon run Heat Wave or Hurricane as their main way of hitting grass types. Just does not care. Uh, obviously, Sucker Punch is kind of bad because it's very frail. But yeah, uh, I think the only thing that kind of sucks is that you kind of rely on that. I think it has to be like a Tailwind Pokemon. And you probably have to run like Clear Amulet and like Terra Ghost because it doesn't have good ghost moves. So you have to run like um, Terra Blast and just get the Ghost Stab like that. Kind of like Dragapult. Probably like Protect and Will-O-Wisp. Does it get Will-O-Wisp? No. I don't know. Maybe pounce for speed control. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? Anyways, yeah, it's it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Like they're it's gimmicky, but it's just okay. It's a C tier. All right, uh, we're about to get into the spoiler endgame Pokemon. So we have this one though, Golden Go. I think Golden Go is gonna be a B tier for me. Golden Go's gotta be a B tier. So here's why. Just got like really nice stats, and it's immune to all status moves. And it's Steel Ghost. It's It's got good bulk too, like 87 HP, 95 defense, 133 special attack, 84 speed, 91 special defense. This guy's like crazy. You can run Scarf and be fine. Um, that lets you beat like Fluttermane, I guess. Uh, well, I guess maybe not, it depends. Uh, but it gets uh, Shadow Ball and it has this new move, uh, new move called Make It Rain, which is 120 base power um, steel move. So it's, it's like Steel Draco Meteor but it only lowers your special attack by one stage and it's 10 points weaker, but it's still really strong. That's an insanely strong move. Uh, it also gets Nasty Plot, so it's it's kind of crazy. I think it's just like a really reliable Pokemon. I would say this guy's uh, gonna be B tier too. I'm struggling to find A and S tiers, to be honest. <laughs> I'm really struggling to find A and S tiers. But the thing is, we're just getting a bunch of reliable Pokemon, you know? There, there's not like a lot of bad ones. Uh, Great Tusk. Great Tusk is going to be the past form. It gets Protosynthesis, which uh, all these past and future forms have an ability. Protosynthesis, when the sun is up or booster energy is, uh, which is an item, is held. It activates it once and it activates the ability. Uh, you get plus one in whatever your stat is. Or not plus one. Actually, we found out the mechanic. The real mechanic is, uh, I believe, in... What was it? In... Anything that isn't like an offensive stat, you get plus one, which is a 50% boost, and that's like a passive. It's not like an actual stat boost. But in offensive stats, it's like a life orb boost, so it's 1.3. So keep that in mind. Uh, we found that out in the showdown chat room today, I believe. This guy, this guy's ground and fighting. Very cool, very nice and bulky. However, I think that we have better fighting types generally. It's gonna, it has to compete with Hariyama. Keep that in mind. And also, it has really bad special defense. Um, I think Great Tusk 
is going to be good on sun teams since it has that ability that can raise its defense or attack. Uh, but for the most part, it's going to be quite average. It's going to be quite average. That's going to be a, a C tier for me. Uh, it feels weird putting it up here with all these lame Pokemon, but it just, it's kind of outclassed. Uh, Brute Bonnet. I think Brute Bonnet is probably going to be a B tier. So this is basically just Ungabungus. Um, it's, it's a very powerful offensive Amoongus. Oh, not Amoongus, sorry. <laughs> well, I guess we can compare them. Uh, Brute Bonnet. So this thing's Grass Dark, which is quite bad, but you could tear into Grass. It's like an offensive Pokemon, really. Uh, it's got 115 HP, 127 attack, 99 defense, 79 special attack, 99 special defense, 55 speed. Honestly, it wants to be slower, but... <laughs> but you could realistically just do this. You could realistically just run this with Spore and, like, no Rage Powder. That's kind of a crazy speed tier for Spore. That's, like, you outspeed a lot of Pokemon that are, like, bulkier. Uh, it also gets close combat, which is kind of insane, but I think it's gonna be, like, Spore, Seed Bomb, you get Knockoff. No, it doesn't get knockoff. Uh, what's the dark movie run? This dark is quite good. Crunch, even Sucker Punch. Uh, crunch and like Taunt, probably. You can even run a Sash on it just to make sure you don't die to like U-turn. Uh, but it's also just super bulky. Like this is a crazy Pokemon. It gets Rage Powder, by the way. Uh, I think that's gonna be an A tier for me. A lot of people are, are naysayers about it, but I think it's gonna be an A tier or a B tier even. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Kind of iffy. A, B, A, B, A, B. Mm. You know what? You know what? B. It's gonna stay in B, but it's like top of B for me. Okay. Uh, Sandy Shocks. That's... I don't know. We'll put it in C right now, but let me take a look at it. Sandy Shocks is electric ground, so it's Stunfisk typing. 101 speed, 121 special attack. It's it's quite underwhelming. It's probably just gonna stay a C tier for me. Yeah, it, it's it's just underwhelming. I don't know. I don't think it's I don't think it's particularly good. Not much to say about it. Uh, Screamtail, that thing's fat. Okay, hold on. Screamtail, it's, uh, very psychic, pretty decent typing. 115 HP, 99 defense, 115 special defense. Um, I think when Cresselia comes back, this thing's outclassed, but does this thing get Icy Wind? No, it doesn't. Does it get any speed control, or is it just gonna be, like, a fat Pokemon? It gets Parish Song, which can be kind of annoying. I guess you would run, like, Leftovers, like, a really defensive set. Enough speed to outspeed, like, Pokemon hitting whatever speed tier they need to hit, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but it's really hard to KO. Its offenses are just awful, though. I don't know if it's, like, particularly nice to... I don't, I don't think it's gonna be useful to run this thing. Does it get Trick Room? It does get Trick Room. I don't know. It could be useful. It's gonna be a C tier. I don't think it's bad. Okay, hold on. This guy... Mm, that's gonna be another A tier. I don't know. I don't know if it's S. But, um... This is Fluttermane. Fluttermane has been an absolute menace. Ghost Fairy type, that hits pretty much everything. Um, and it's Fake Out Immune, and it has 135, 135, 135 in its last three stats. You run like a Timid Nature on this guy with uh, Energy Booster, and uh, now you're outspeeding Golduck and Rain uh, with, with max speed. And you go like Dazzling Gleam, you go Shadow Ball. It gets access to Parish Song. It gets access to, does it get Will-O-Wisp? I don't think it gets Will-O-Wisp. No, it gets Icy Wind, which is kind of cool. Uh, but I usually run like Calm Mind. It also gets Mystical Fire. But I usually run like Calm Mind Protect because this thing's such an offensive threat. It exudes enough pressure that you can just like Calm Mind up in something's face as it protects on you. <laughs> and then smack things with um, Terra Fairy Dazzling Gleam or like Terra Ghost Shadow Ball. It's very strong. It's insanely good and you see it in a lot of teams right now. So I'm, I'm putting it A tier. Could even be S to be honest. Could even be S. Okay. Um, where are you? Uh, this guy, that's... I think it's gonna be a B. Um, I think it's kind of interesting. This guy's cute, by the way. I, th I find this one actually very cute, but it's called Slitherwing. And it's a, it's, it's the Buzzwool at home. It's special defense Buzzwool. 135 attack, 105, uh, uh, 105 special defense, 85 HP with 81 speed. I think what you do is you run like clear amulet on this guy and you just hit things with like strong close combats. It does get first impression, which is really nice. Yeah, I think that's literally how you run it. Uh, it does get flare blitz too, which is insane. You could tear a fire and like make this thing a menace. You get ground moves. Stomping tantrum. Yeah. No, this thing's going to be fine. I think it's going to be like an okay Pokemon, but not anything special. Uh, Roaring Moon might be S tier. I think Roaring Moon might be S tier. So here's why. This thing hits like a truck. It's dragon and dark. And it's 139 attack, 119 speed. It has like the stats to do anything it wants, even without protosynthesis. But if you put an energy booster on this guy 
And what people are doing right now is they're running like acrobatics and Terra flying. You get the energy booster activation, you become a flying type, you have 110 base attack, or you have a 110 base power flying move, and then you just hit things with like that and like Dragon Claw. Um, and it gets Jaw Lock, but I think you want to run like another dark move. Maybe like Throat Chop if it gets it. It gets Throat Chop, yeah. It's, it has a lot of tools. It's very reliable and it's super easy to set up. Does it get Dragon Dance? It does, yeah, it gets Dragon Dance. It has everything it needs. That's an S tier. Insane Pokemon. Clear Amulet isn't even that bad on it. Um, Iron Treads. I don't know how I feel about Iron Treads. Iron Treads is Ground Steel. It's it's like Excadrill. It's basically Excadrill without Sand Rush. It's probably fine. Uh, maybe like a B tier. Yeah, it's got a really good speed stat too. So like, you'd run like, um, sorry, like Earthquake. Let's get high horsepower. It doesn't get high, horse, high horsepower. Earthquake, Rock Slide, Iron Head. Protect. You could even run like an AV on it and like run a different move instead of protect. Just like do this. It's a good Pokemon. I think it's fine. It's fine. It's gonna be a C tier. Maybe even a B tier. Uh, we'll do B tier. Yeah, it's got everything it needs. Okay. Now, uh, do, do, do Iron Moth. Iron Moth's pretty cool. This guy's got an insane typing. It's a uh, fire poison like Salazzle, but it's better because it's got 140 base special attack, 100 speed, and decent bulk. This thing also gets Quiver Dance. Oh, it doesn't get Quiver Dance. What am I thinking of? What got Quiver Dance? I don't know. Point is, this thing can run Heat Wave, Sludge Wave. It doesn't get Sludge Bomb, which kind of sucks. I don't know why they didn't give it that. Um, but you'd have to like protect. Uh, or you could even just run like Terra Poison. Terra Poison isn't bad for it. Yeah, Pure Poison's not bad. Uh, and you could also, in the sun, I think the reason they didn't get Quiver Dance, uh, Quiver Dance was because it'd be absurd in the sun. But yeah, in the sun, you get a Quark Drive boost and you still get the boost to your heat wave. So that's going to be kind of crazy. You could run it next to Torkoal with like specs if you really wanted to. But I think um, I think that you just want like, yeah, it's, it's going to be good. Like even without like booster energy. Oh, and also gets Fiery Dance, which is kind of absurd. Uh, it's probably going to be a good Pokemon. I think it's, it's, it's like a really nice wall breaker and super reliable. The only thing is you probably have to tear it so you don't get one shot. So it's going to be uh, B tier for me. Next, 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 next. Iron Hands has been a menace for me. Oh my God, I faced it so many times on the ladder. But this thing's got 154 HP, 140 attack, 108 defense, uh, 50 special attack, 68 special defense, 50 speed. It gets fake out, it gets close combat. People are running Thunder Punch on this guy and like protect. And I've been seeing, um, I've been seeing booster energy, but I've also been seeing like, um, I've also been seeing like, uh, what's it called? Assault vest sets. So it can do a lot. It's an insane wall breaker. You can run like drain punch. You could run drain punch over close combat if you really wanted to. That thing's super fat. And it's like really good in your trick room. You can run this thing next to Torkoal pretty effectively. Uh, yeah. And then like the assault vest set would be amazing. Just ugh, super reliable. Yeah, no, that, I think that's gonna be an A tier. This is an A tier mod and, and it's electric fighting. But like that isn't a bad typing. That really isn't a bad typing. Okay. Uh, next. Iron Jugulus, that's as mid as it gets. That's as mid as it gets. It's not bad, but it's like so lame. Iron Jugulus gets basically nothing. It's dark flying, 122 special attack, 108 speed. Uh, it gets nothing special. Dark Pulse. It loses Draco Meteor, which kind of sucks. It gets Hurricane and Air Slash, which is okay, but yeah. Does it get Nasty Plot? It doesn't get Nasty Plot. No, no, that's a C tier. Does It does nothing. Uh, do, 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 Iron Thorns. I actually haven't looked too much into this one. Iron Thorns is a rock electric type, so it's very weak to, to ground. 100 HP, 134 attack, 110 defense, 70 special attack, 84 special defense, 72 speed. Get Dragon Dance. Truthfully, that's all it really needs, isn't it? Dragon Dance, Rock Slide, Thunder Punch. Protect, probably. And you can just Terra into like solo rock or solo electric and you're good. That's probably it. You can even do clear amulet. I think this is gonna, that's, there are so many good clear amulet Pokemon for VGC to be honest. So many. Yeah, and then you just hit that 107 speed tier. You can even run like an adamant nature there. Yeah. Or like here. Bam, easy. And it does get that special defense boost in sand. Uh, that's probably gonna be a C tier, B tier. That's gonna be a B tier for me. Oh, this guy's insane. Okay, hold on. I think this guy has some pretty undiscovered potential, but it's very inconsistent. Um, 
it's gonna be B tier, like top of B tier to be honest. They're not ranked within this, but like just so you know, it's like about as close to A as it gets. Iron Bundle, he's got that thing on him. Uh, he's he's got that thing on his hip. So it's it's 136 speed, 124 special attack. You slap a choice specs on this guy. You put a choice specs on this guy. You run this thing with like a, a hail setter. You got blizzard. You got ice beam. You got it doesn't get good water moves to be honest, but you still got hydro pump. It's it's a crazy Pokemon. It gets freeze dry too. Freeze dry is like really good. You can even just put like choice specs or like a life orb. This thing's an insane wall breaker. They had no they had no business making Deli Bird this good. It's also like really good in the physical side. It's an insane wall breaker. And you still got Quark Drive. You can make that thing speed boost if you want to. I think speed boost is actually better. Speed boost is probably the best one. But yeah, no. Crazy Pokemon. Um, B tier. I want to put an A tier. I'm so close to A tier. But these guys are probably better. Okay. Uh, Iron Valiant. This guy kind of sucks, IMO. Very fighting. 116 speed, 130 attack. I, I don't know, man. It's... It's, it's just kind of interesting. It's it's best, like, I get Spirit Break is like a really good move, right? But it's also like, I'd prefer to have Play Rough. <laughs> I really would. Does get close combat, protect, you get Swords Dance. You can make it work. I think it's like quite good, but it's it feels underwhelming for some reason. Like in, compar in comparison to Roaring Moon, it feels very underwhelming for some reason. Um, and also it's like really frail on the special side. So like a single Dazzling Gleam doesn't, doesn't help you much. In fact, um, the fact that Fluttermane is so good just makes this thing super bad. Because I think you just drop to a single D-Gleam. Yeah, Rain Teams annihilate you. It's 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 the frailty, but it's it's probably not that bad. I think I think what's happening right now is a lot of people are running like Cork Drive plus Energy Booster when they should be running Clear Amulet. I get that I've been saying Clear Amulet a lot, but I think a lot of these Pokemon need the Clear Amulet to be consistent. I'm going to put it A. Maybe B. No, I'm gonna put it B. Sorry, I was I was comparing it to Roaring Moon, which is why I was saying it's like underwhelming. I'm gonna put it B. There, there are better Pokemon, but it's still quite good. Um, this, all right. So these are spoiler mons, 100%. Uh, this is Ting Lu, I believe. Yes, these guys all have new abilities, and what it is is it's it's an aura. It's not an actual stat drop, but it's an aura. So as long as it's on the field, the special attack set of every Pokemon, including your partner, is reduced by 25% making this guy a crazy wall 155 hp 80 special defense this thing's crazy man you could put like an assault vest on this guy does it get bulldoze probably get, yeah probably gets bulldoze um get rock tomb oh it gets rock tomb that's kind of crazy okay so like rock tomb earthquake um ruination which is basically basically nature's madness all right heavy slam if it uh if it's heavy enough maybe throat chop this guy's crazy. It's like an insane special wall. Dark Grounds are really good typing. I think that's going to be an A tier for me. I think a lot of people aren't using it right now because they just don't get how good it is. Um, and it's like, you can't you can't KO this thing with special moves. Not with the Assault Vest. That's an A tier. Okay. This guy's an insane offensive Pokemon too. Um, I think it's... No, not Bien. What is it called? What was it called? They, they all have very, uh, very like similar naming schemes. Where are you? Where are the Ruination Pokemon? Here it is. That's Wo Chain. I think it got banned to Ubers. Did they get banned to Ubers? No, it didn't. What is it called? Ice. Let me just look up ice types. Okay. Ice. Here it is. Chen Pao. That's what it's called got sword of ruin it's a dark ice type it's just better weavile it's just straight up better weavile so here's the thing this thing passively reduces the defense stats of other pokemon so that 120 attack is it's going a lot further than you think it's going a lot further than you think this guy can run like a choice band and ko whatever it wants it gets access to um ice shard it gets access to sacred sword um you can run icicle crash if it wants to uh, and it gets access to throat chop i wish you got knockoff i don't think it gets knockoff that'd be busted but yeah no this guy's an insane wall breaker like probably the wall breaker if it wasn't an ice type if it, if it didn't have such a bad defensive typing it'd be a lot better but honestly like offensively dark ice hits a lot of things i think that's gonna be an a tier for me and right now people are just sleeping on it okay um oh, i forgot the name of you but you're my favorite even though you suck here 
grass dark here it is uh whoa chain whoa chain this guy's adorable i love snails okay he's grass dark and a defensive pokemon but he doesn't have the benefit of spore like a moongus and i don't believe it gets sleep powder no nothing got sleep powder this guy uh, passively reduces the attack stats of all active Pokemon, so if you put it next to a special attacker, it could be pretty pretty heat. Um, and yeah, it's also decently bulky. 100 defense, 135 special defense. You just max this out, really. I think that the way you would run this guy is actually as like um, a physical attacker with like, actually probably like Giga Drain, maybe special attacker actually. Giga Drain, Dark Pulse, Ruination, and I don't know what your last move would be. Something. It'd be something. Oh, Pollen Puff, probably. Snar oh, wait, Snarl's crazy. And like another Assault Vest Pokemon. I think it's like good in like restrictive formats for like Kyogre. And it does really good versus Groudon, too. Groudon probably can't break this thing. So I don't know. But it is like it does have that awful typing. But not, but it doesn't have the, the, the tools that Brute Bonnet has. So that's going to be, um, it's a C tier for me. All right. Uh, oh, what's the fish called? The fish is insane. Oh, this one's gonna be so good. Uh, fire, dark. Yeah, I said fish and it's a fire type. No water type involved, insane. Chi Yu. Okay, so it's 100 speed, 135 special attack. Reduces the special defense of all Pokemon. Congratulations on your new choice scarf sweeper. This thing gets heat wave. This thing gets heat wave, this thing gets dark pulse. That's all you need. That's all I need to tell you. And it's got incineroar typing. This thing next to Fluttermane is disgusting. You just lead off Fluttermane and Chi Yu and it's like Lele Mosa. That's a, that's gonna be uh might even be S tier. I think it's S tier. I really think it's S tier. No, I think it's great. A lot of people are sleeping on it. Okay. Uh, because like with with it, with uh with the ice one lowering uh defense stats, you still have intimidate as like a tool. But not every Pokemon can carry an assault vest, which is why this one's such such great as like a or so great as like a wall breaker. Alright. Uh Coridon, Miradon. I mean, they're they're obviously both S tier right now, but like they're not. I'm not ranking them because we're talking about like current format. Uh, Tinkaton, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, Tinkaton fans, my bad, my bad. This thing's garbage. It's got a lot of tools, a lot of tools. It's got Fake Out. It's got uh, own tempo. It can't be um, can't be intimidated. It's got Fake Out. It's got Gigaton Hammer. That's 160. That's 160 base power move. But guess what? It's not KOing anything. This thing's so underwhelming, it makes me sad because I really want it to be good. I think the only way you're going to get away with it is like a Swords Dance set in like Tailwind and then you Gigaton Hammer things because you can't be intimidated. But beyond that, it's it's quite bad. I don't think you, I, you have better options. It could be C tier. If you really want it to be C tier, it could, yeah, I'll put it C tier just so you guys don't cry. Okay, uh, Armor Rogue. I think it's a B tier. That's like a hot take. That's a hot take for me. I think Armor Rogue has a lot of tools at uh, disposal. Sorry, Armor Rouge. I'm always saying it wrong. I'm always saying it wrong. Has a lot of tools. Will O Wisp, Expanding Force, um, Heat Wave. Sorry, not Heart Stamp. Heat Wave. Got everything it needs, really. And it's super bulky. I did a moveset guide on it uh, yesterday. I think it's quite good. I don't think it's that good, though. You know, B, a little bit higher than C. Yeah, like bottom of B tier. Uh, this guy. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. We'll put him bottom of B tier. Same deal. It's got everything it needs to succeed, just not a good speed stat. But Armor Rouge doesn't rely on the speed as much. What's this thing called? Um, Sarah Ledge. Yeah, it's it's got everything it needs. It's unburnable. I guess it's another like decent clear amulet Pokemon. Whatever. Toad Scroll could be better. Toad Scroll is Ground Grass, which is an okay defensive typing, I guess. Um, but it's a hundred speed and gets access to Spore. Here's the catch. It has one ability and it makes all of its status moves minus one priority. But it does ignore things like magic bounce, overcoat, anything like that. It ignores it. Uh, does it get strength set? Doesn't get strength set. Sad. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, you probably just run like a Giga Drain set. Protect, Earth Power. It's got bad offenses. I, I think it's going to be like a, like a C tier for me. Um, if you could get rid of... If you could get rid of Mycelium Might, yeah, it'd be a lot better. It's going to be bottom of C. Uh, King Gambit. I think King Gambit's going to be like a, a B tier. Maybe an A tier. No, a B tier. So King Gambit's really cool. New evolution for... Uh, new evolution for... What's his name? Fish Harp. Got Defiant. 
I don't think Supreme Overlords, uh, Overlords is actually good for VGC because it's 10% for each fainted teammate. So if two teammates go down, you have like a metal coat boost, I guess. Uh, but yeah, you want to find it because it's really good on lead. And a 135 base attack, these awesome defenses. I mean, this guy's probably gonna be like a fine assault vest user. You just slap an assault vest on him. It lost knockoff, which kind of sucks, but uh, you run like Sucker Punch, Iron Head. Let's get close combat. Didn't get close combat. What's the fighting move this guy runs? Low kick, yeah. Low kick. Um, right, poison jab. I don't know. Hit like grass types. I don't know. Kowtow, Kowtow Cleaver, whatever it's called. Kowtow Cleave. That's not bad. It's like throat chop. Yeah. I think it's going to be pretty good. Uh, it's it's obviously, you know, Defiance really good in the Intimidate meta. So it's all B tier. It's all B tier. All right. These two are the only ones left. Um, Odd Sire. Poison and Ground. It's got Water Absorb. And it's very fat. Kind of impossible to break on the special side, to be honest. It does get Recover, too. So, like, Recover... It lost Scald. Well, all Pokemon lost Scald. But it doesn't get Scald, which kind of sucks. Probably, like, Recover, Earth Power. Uh, does it get Toxic? That's kind of big. Toxic and... Protect. I guess you would just run Sludge Bomb instead. And probably, um... Black Sludge. The only thing is it has bad defenses. I don't know. Oh, wait. It's it's offenses are garbage. No, this thing's... Oh, my God. This thing's garbage. Wait. Why did I think it had better special attack? What's going on? No, that's so sad. No, you don't do that. Okay, no, this, this one is bad. That's... that's I, I, That feels like an F tier. I'm sorry. Or like a D tier. That feels like a D tier. I'm so... I wish it was good. Oh, I wish Cloud Sire was good. I'm so sad that I just found that out. Okay, final one. Annihilate. World's greatest pun. Defiant. Scarf. Can't be faked out. Fire Ghost coverage. Close combat. Shadow Claw or Rage Fist, your choice. Rage Fist, uh, 50 base power each time the users hit, but it's not not that good on a Scarf set. Uh, U-turn. Uh, and does it get Stomping Tantrum? I believe it does. Yeah, this is what you run. This is what you run. Big money, unintimidatable. You lead off with it, you get plus one, you hit something with a fat close combat. Sorry, not Shadow Ball. Shadow Claw, there we go. That's how you use it. I think it's okay. Uh, that's going to be a, a B tier. This is my final tier list of all the new Pokemon. Obviously, this stuff is... Like, if, if we had other Pokemon to talk about, then we would see, like, okay, yeah, Arcanine's going to be, like, S tier on my tier list, because I think it's quite good. Maybe even, like, A tier, honestly. But as for, like, the Pokemon that we've got, this is how I rank them. I think that these are... Or as for the new Pokemon, this is how I rank them. I think this is... Pretty okay. I was kind of generous with a few Pokemon, but I think I'm fine. Anyway, so that's my opinion. If you guys enjoy, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'm too tired. This took a while. I'm too tired to make another video today. I'm going to be live streaming later on tonight, though. Uh, I'm, I'm breeding my first team in game. If you want to check me out on Twitch, I should be going live around 6 p.m. So yeah, have a nice night. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.